I'm Ben Arnett in the Mizzou Network studio. We love catching up with our former Tiger athletes and guess who I ran into Wednesday? Our old buddy, former Mizzou point guard Phil Pressey. Flip is back in Columbia working out in preparation for his rookie year in the NBA and the former Tiger turned Boston Celtic took a few minutes to chat with me before his first season in Celtic Green. What an exciting summer for you and, and tell me about the experience of signing with the Celtics and then what you did going to summer league and, and uh, getting the job done there. Uh, I mean it was a great experience uh, going out there and having the opportunity to show the Celtics organi organization that I can play for them and uh, it was a great summer and I'm just excited to get the season going. What was that process like of kind of starting from scratch with them and you know at the beginning of the summer league I'm sure you were one face in a, a crowd of dozens for them that they were evaluating but by the end especially to Danny Ainge it seemed like you really stood out and, and what do you feel like you did to, to garner that attention? Uh, yeah I mean I started the summer off going undrafted uh, a lot of things didn't go my way but going into the draft I knew the Celtics loved me uh, Danny Ainge loved me and I mean five minutes after the draft he called me and let me know that I had a chance to play for them so I mean that that excited me like no other and I went to summer league and I played very well and that helped me out so I'm just happy to be a part of it. You get a three-year contract from them and what does that security give you to, to grow as a player and, and improve, especially as a young guy and in a system there where they're going to have a lot of young guys and there's going to be a lot of room to grow and improve over the next few years? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's always good to have, have that security, like you said, but I'm always working. Uh, I always feel like I haven't done enough and I always feel like I haven't made it yet. So I'm always working and trying to improve my game and I feel like if I go about that way, you know, it can only help me. You're kind of a Boston guy, too. Spent a little time there growing up, didn't you? Yeah, I lived there for a couple of years uh, in the, in the uh, outskirts called, in a town called Waltham. Uh, I mean, I enjoy it a lot, and I'm just glad to be back out there. What do you feel like your goals are for this season with them, and, and where do you, you feel like maybe your, your best opportunities to grow are, particularly working with a guy like Brad Stevens? Oh, yeah, I mean, Brad Stevens, he's a great coach. Uh, I mean, I, I get opportunity to learn from one of the best point guards in the game with uh, Rondo, so... I'm just going to go out there and be all ears and try to be a sponge out there when my first season. What's that like with him? Because you're a basketball fan. I'm sure that's a guy that you just a few short weeks ago were looking up to, and now he's a teammate and a mentor. Yeah, I mean, back when I was coming out of high school, I mean, I looked at Rondo as one of the best point guards in the game, and I would play with him on the video games. So now I'm going to be playing alongside of him and just trying to learn as much as possible. What kind of credit can you give to Frank Haith and this program for helping you to be in this position once you got the opportunity with the Celts? I mean, without Coach Haith and I mean, along with also Mike Anderson, they brought me here and and I've just been trying to take this Mizzou, Mizzou program and wear it on my back. And I, I mean, I wear it with pride. Uh, without this program, I mean, there is no Phil Pressy. <laughs> And hey, you're here this summer, you're working out here with the, with the staff in place. And why is that, that, that you come back here and, and this is where you, you choose to try to improve over the off season? And what are you trying to get done here in these workouts? Uh, I mean, I'm just trying to come back and say what's up to the guys, uh, speak some wisdom in their ears, let them know what it takes to get to where I'm at. Um, and the coaching staff, uh, I love those guys. Uh, I talk to them almost every couple of days or so. And I'm just trying to come back here. It feels like home and I feel like this will always be home. 